So here's a few quick tips for anyone who owns the old pickup truck. This is to make it feel like it's uh, better than it may be in its current condition. We'll use my uh, 82 F-150 as a prime example. Um, this is just covering some little things. This is kind of like what you would do with a normal car. And just to take care of it, you know, make sure it's maintained and whatnot. Um, however, I'm going to show you what I when I went ahead and did in this with this truck. Um, so I noticed a few things, and this was on happening on both doors. Um, you know, there's a lot of used to be a lot of getting in and out to uh, adjust the carburetor when this thing had one, and now it's got a diesel. But uh, so you're always opening this handle and. The mechanism in here really needs to be replaced. It's getting, it's pretty old, it's been used a lot. Uh, but what happened is I'd, ha I'd lock it, and then when i go to get out, I'd pull on this and it would lock up for a second, and then it would go, but then it would feel gritty. Um, so what I've done is I've, to alleviate that, uh, I took a can of WD-40, the one with the flip-up straw, and just coated the inside of this, and now it is just... That's like putting on Astroglide and sticking it in there, poop. We'll still end up replacing that this uh, mechanism but at least for now it won't break on me because it's lubricated and, and there's less stress on that pin in there that actuates the release here I've also sprayed in here some WD-40 and all that's working great and then I actually got a little bit in, back in here and that that made a huge difference too rolling the window down I mean this rolls down like it's slicker than snot because what I did is I took that straw and I started at the top and worked my way down, just slightly spraying, trying not to get anything out this way, and I accidentally got a little bit on the window, so I need to clean that up. But I sprayed a little bit down here, about three doses. Same here. Now keep in mind, WD-40 may not uh, be accepted on the material that your window rides on, so you may want to use soap um, or some other safer alternative. However, I think WD-40 will be safe, but uh, I, w I would use a soap of some kind, like a bar of soap. Uh, the other thing is um, the seals on this truck, even though they're new by three years, they are actually already kind of going out because, well, it's an aftermarket made in China kit that I put on it, and it's just complete rubbish. And uh, this is kind of a fabric wiki type of stuff, and it seemed to suck up the WD-40, and so now, when I go to roll my window up, it's not, you know, a world of hurt. You know, I'm not really cranking on this thing anymore. So this regulator needs to get replaced, which I'll end up doing at some point. Um, when I get all the stuff for the door, I kind of rebuild this door. Um, I did the same thing for this. That one especially was really hard to roll down, and now it's it's just be a beautiful thing. Um, so that's that's one thing I've I've taken care of. Now down here, many of you know that once I converted this to a manual, this clutch pedal kit that I, or uh, set, or assembly that I got, it squeaks like a mother. I mean, it's just terrible, especially when I had my old clutch, it was really stiff, and so when I hit that and the brake, it would just squeak terribly. Um, so since I've put a new clutch and new hydraulics in this, the clutch pedal is, is it's just nice. It's like a, it's like kind of like a Mazda 3 almost. Just a little bit stiffer because it's a bigger clutch, but it's still way easier than what it was when I uh, put this truck together. So I sprayed the, uh, I don't know if I can show you. I sprayed whatever I could get. And see, I can see better with the camera. I think I still need to try and spray. I kind of want to take this pedal. I got to repair the. Uh, the pin for the uh, clutch master pedal rod um, it got worn out from uh, the last clutch hydraulics I need to replace that pin and, and get a new one on there but anyways so you know that this WD-40 man it just it's it the, the fluid when it touches something dry it just that dryness just soaks up that WD-40 and that made those pedals a lot quieter um, you know it's a lot better. They're a lot smoother. <laughs> way smoother. That's actually a time to soak. It's way better. Sprayed the gas pedal. That's nice and free. It's not terrible. Um, I sprayed the uh, e-brake uh, assembly. It's 
So that's that's uh, working a little bit better. So, and then, you know, this truck I'm always tinkering with. So, I, you know, when I pop the hood, I use it quite frequently. You know, not because anything's really broken on this truck or I'm trying to get it to run again. I'm just doing maintenance or whatever or making some modifications to this engine or adding stuff like this air conditioning. Um, so what I do is I take WD-40. I did try some silicone or whatever the hell that stuff was, that lithium grease. Don't do that. This just gets everywhere. I just lubricated all these pivot points, the spring and the hinge up in there. Did the same thing the other side. I spray all this and spray all down in here. And so now it just shuts like a brand new hood. Also on this truck, the e-brake. You would push the thing all the way down to the floor and it would still roll. So I went ahead and taken this guy. It's a, uh, put a 16 millimeter on that nut and then I put a 15 millimeter on that little bracket that has the hook around it. When you, uh, you just act like you're tightening it and it'll take all the slack out of the cable. There was so much slack in this cable like it was dripping past the spring and then this was dangling around over here so I tightened it up it's, it's snug and now I put that e-brake pedal down about halfway and it it uh, bites really good so I do need to give this thing a bath um, wouldn't help to wouldn't hurt to lubricate the fuel doors but these are these are pretty nice They get coated with diesel fuel, so. <laughs> but yeah, there's just a few tips there to make an old truck kind of feel like a new one. Yeah, this is just kind of usually regular maintenance for a lot of older, I mean, newer vehicles. You lubricate the hinges and stuff. That's another thing. Lubricate your hinges on the doors, especially on the driver's side. That gets These get worn out a lot on the trucks. You know, Chevys especially any vehicle that's got hinges they're gonna wear so keep them lubricated and won't have any problems so anyways constantly doing a lot to this truck improving it and making modifications to it and you might even go four-wheel drive on it at some point so if you want to see more subscribe and uh, I'll keep you entertained <laughs>